Good morning, Pastor students and staff. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll recognize a moment of silence. Thank you, everyone. Our announcements for today are as follows. State testing begins today for all third through eighth grades in writing. Students remember, this assessment takes place once a year and it gives us the opportunity to see what you've learned and what you're still learning. Some reminders, cell phones and watches are not permissible during the test, so please be sure to put those away in backpacks or as your teacher directs. Take your time. You can have as much time as you need on the test. Please do your very best so that we have the most accurate information. Good luck to everyone on state testing. Our next soccer game takes place today on the Pastor Field. Girls start at 4.30, boys at 5.30. For those students who are coming to watch the game, remember that you must go home first and get permission and then return by 4.30. We do hope to see everyone out there to root on the pride. This Wednesday, that's tomorrow, is an early dismissal day. Students will be released at the early dismissal time of 1 o'clock. And finally, our bulletin board winners for the month of March. In kindergarten through second grade, congratulations to Ms. Rourke's class. In third through fifth grade, congratulations to Ms. Mansour's class. And in sixth through eighth grade, congratulations to Mr. Ochoa's class. Congratulations to all of this month's winners and a big shout out to all of our classes who participated. That does conclude our announcements for today. Our words of wisdom are on new beginnings. Good morning, Pastor School. This is Mrs. Acosta with a few words of wisdom. Have you ever noticed how life is full of endings and beginnings? For example, we're getting close to the end of the school year and the beginning of summer vacation. That's an ending and a beginning I'm sure we're all looking forward to. But some endings are not happy endings, as when a friendship ends, or a marriage ends, or a job ends. It can feel as if there will never be a new beginning. There's an old Mexican proverb that goes like this, when one door closes, fate will open another. The next time you're faced with a painful ending, remember that when one door closes, another will open. And who knows, maybe behind the new door are new possibilities that you never even dreamed of. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Acosta. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a wonderful Tuesday, Pastor.